In today's video I will show you how to avoid getting pain from water getting into your nose when you're swimming underwater in the pool. So let's just get into it. The best way to avoid getting water in your nose is of course wearing a diving mask or a nose clip. Wearing a diving mask will also help you see better underwater. But if you decide to go diving without the mask, here is two ways to avoid getting a painful diving experience. Number one, avoid getting the water into your nose in the first place. You can do that by blowing air into your nose and keeping it there during the dive. You just want to blow enough air that it stays inside your nose. As you can see in the video here, only a few bubbles are coming out through my nose. That's because the nose is filled with air. You don't want to be blowing too much and making a lot of bubbles. That means you're blowing out the air in your lungs through your nose and you won't be able to hold your breath for as long. Just practice this a little bit on the shallow end of the pool. Just try to keep the bubbles inside your nose. You will easily feel when you're blowing too much because a little bit of bubbles are coming out. The problem with this method is if you're jumping from a height or when you're swimming upside down, you will have to hold your nose the whole time because the air will be coming out through your nose and the water will go in. So the best option is method number two. The biggest reason why you're getting pain from water getting into your nose is not because the water is in your nose, but when the water gets into your sinus. So what we can do is train the muscle in the back of your throat to block the water from entering the sinus. Training this is a bit uncomfortable in the beginning, but after a while it will be no problem and you can easily swim without getting pain in your nose in the future. So this is what you do. Put on a diving mask, fill it with water and then tilt your head back slightly. You will feel the water rushing into your nose. You now try to block the water with the muscle in the back top of your throat. Just tilt your head a little bit in the beginning and as you feel that you're able to block the water you can tilt your head more and more. In the beginning you can try holding your breath while tilting your head back. Then tilt your head forward, breathe for a while and then try to tilt your head back again. When you're starting to get a hold of it you can try to breathe through your mouth while having your head tilted back. When you're okay with that you can try to swim in your back or thread water while your mask is full of water. You may have to practice this a couple of times and a couple of minutes at a time, but when you're able to master it, you will have a skill for the rest of your life. As a bonus, you can try to swim down to the bottom of the pool, fill the mask with water, then empty the mask by tilting your head back, squeezing the top of the mask and blowing out through your nose. Remember, you have to squeeze your nose and equalize the pressure in your ears when you're swimming down, so you don't get your uh, eardrums hurt. I hope you found this helpful, and please let me know in the comment section if you were able to do this. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon to get notifications next time I upload. Have a nice day!